Shuck. Do I have a neck? Check out my cute garment tree. I'm so festive. I was like, oh hell no. So I'm telling you a funny story about the time that I straight up got in a fight with my sister. Like I'm talking throwing hands. By the way, if you've never seen my face before, my name's Taylor Che. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you press that button down there on somewhere down there because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm also doing Vlogmas and I'm not doing an everyday upload until the 14th. On the 14th, I'm going to start uploading every single day. But other than that, I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So smash that button. Smash it. Mm, is that cool? Is that a cool thing to say? I don't know. Anywho, let me give you a little background on my sister first. She has always been a little wild, like a rule breaker. She's very like by her own book, like her way or the highway. Um, in high school, she did a lot of fighting. Like she got to the point where there were like one more fight and you're out. And that was before the like zero tolerance policies existed. She got in a lot of fights. Like I wonder if she even knows how many fights she's been in. She used to throw hands in high school because she's just very blunt. She's very in your face, gonna tell you what she thinks, don't care what you think. Especially we lived in an apartment complex, so we didn't live in like the classiest area. So there were a lot of other people that liked to throw hands too. So she would just throw hands all the time, left and right and all the rounds. And my sister and I, obviously she's my sister, I love her, but we have always kind of butted heads because we're just so different. She actually moved out when she was 18. Like, I want to say like a week after her 18th birthday. Like, very soon after her 18th birthday. She wasn't even done with high school yet. But she was like, screw this, I'm out. And she moved in with her friend that lived in the same apartment complex as us. So she didn't really live that far away. But yeah. When this occurred, that this incident occurred, my mom and my stepdad decided to go out of town on like a weekend getaway. They were either in like... Memphis or Nashville like somewhere in Tennessee or Kentucky they were on a weekend getaway so it was just me and my two brothers home alone and then my uncle would like come and check on us I can't remember if he was staying with us or he was just coming and checking on us but he wasn't there at the time and I think he had left to go get us McDonald's we lived right next to the McDonald's and we were McDonald's junkies so we literally that's all we ate back then so gross to think about but it is and my sister came over with her boyfriend. At the time, me and my brother were so into my, I think it was called My Sims? My Sims Kingdom, I think is what it was. And you had, like you made your sim and then you had to go on all these adventures and like solve these mysteries and things like that. And we were really into that and that was on the Wii and we played it all the time. And my sister came over, she was like, oh, I, I wanna borrow the Wii controllers. And even though I liked My Sims, I wasn't like, no, you can't take them. I was like, okay, whatever, but my, um, Younger brother, not the one that played My Sims with me, but like this other one, my, this other one, like I don't, like I have a million. I have two brothers, I have one that's two years younger than me and the one that's four years younger than me. My sister is my stepsister, she's my stepdad's daughter, um, and then my brothers are with my mom and my stepdad. I forgot to add that in, but yeah, that's how my family dynamics work. And the one that's four years younger than me, we would always play the Wii. But the one that was two years younger than me also played the Wii, but he just played different games. But she came over and she decided she wanted to borrow our Wii controllers. And I was like, whatever. But the boys were like, no, like you can't take our Wii controllers. Like we need, the like they're boys, they're gamers to the max. They were like, no, you can't take our Wii controllers. Either she gets what she wants or she's pissed. And so she was pissed. She was like, um, no, I'm taking them. Like you have no say in this matter. She was arguing with my brothers, like very immature. And also I forgot to mention, my sister is five years older than me. So at this time she was 18, I was 13. One of my brothers was 11 and one of my brothers was nine. She was arguing with my 11 year old brother, like specifically, they have very similar traits. They're arguing and he threw a toy at her at some point and she got really mad. And she like hurled this toy back at him like no other and I've never had like a great relationship with my siblings like we aren't the closest siblings but they're still my siblings and that big sister like instant kicked in and I was like oh hell no like that is not gonna be going down right now she's 18 he's 11 and she's gonna hurl a freaking toy at him I was like oh no I was like okay you need to leave like it's time for you to leave you're not taking the Wii controllers you're leaving then she starts going off on me blah 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 and I was sitting on the couch and she was maybe like 10 feet, 15 feet away from me, like in the living room, a little ways away from me. And we were arguing and things get heated up. I don't remember exactly what we said, but I'm sure it was like, you're not taking the Wii controllers, fuck you, yes I am. And I'm like, fuck you, no you're not. So I get really mad and I have my iPod in my hand 
and I got so mad and I just chucked this iPod across the room and honestly this story is so good because of this I chucked it across the room at her it hits her in the face and ricochets off her face and hits the wall and she like oh she was so mad but I was like like wow my aim how did I even do that but she picks up the iPod and threw it down the hallway come to find out later on the iPod was broken it would it was already cracked at this point but it did not turn back on after I threw it at her and she likes to claim that she broke it when she threw it down the hallway but when she threw it down the hallway it like just bounced on the carpet whereas when I threw it it hit her face in the wall so I think either her hard head or the wall broke it but honestly it was worth it like I don't even care so then oh she's mad and we're we still keep going on screaming and yelling I got up in her face we're like up in each other's face I probably threw the first hit honestly because we get like we have always like fought when we were little like we're sisters you know girls fight like no other and oh I just like get so frustrated when we fight and I was like okay it's going down she might have hit me first or I might have hit her first I don't know but honestly I'm gonna go ahead and say it was me it probably was me I don't know for sure I just like start decking her like going on and we were about the same size honestly my sister has always been like very skinny and small and I have always been a very early bloomer so we were probably like around the same size like she might have been a little bigger than me but not a ton we're like going at it and it wasn't like it wasn't anything serious like we were punching each other and stuff but we're like some weak little girls like not that big of a deal but I mean obviously it still hurt and stuff and then as we're fighting in the living room my uncle walks in so I'm instantly like whoa it's over like that's it I go upstairs he's like whoa what are you doing like why are you hitting on a 13 year old girl you're 18 that's not okay basically he was really mad at her because like my whole family knows how confrontational she is like that's just her personality i go upstairs and i'm like sitting on the stairs we had like these two tier stairs right in front of the front door and they were like the slotted ones where you could like see through them so i was sitting like at the bottom of the second tier where I could like still see the front door and like what was going on in the living room. She's like, oh, it was, she hit me first. I won, blah, blah, blah. And she left without the controllers. I think my uncle called my mom and my stepdad and they were really mad. So that's kind of my story time of the time that me and my sister straight up threw hands and I broke my iPod on her face also, so whoops and at that time my ipod was my only form of like communication with the outside world i didn't have a phone i just had an ipod so i sacrificed my communication with the outside world to throw this thing at her face so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this story time i tried to make it pretty short i hate when there are like 30 minute story times that could be 10 like chill thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it i post new videos every monday wednesday and friday Bye. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cool girl. I'm a, I'm a cool girl.